Well, I mean, thing, it, it, it doesn't plane. It doesn't plane. Uh, right Dog asked, what about planning and performance and all those sorts of things? And several of you want to know more about the performance envelope and of the canoe. Maximum speed on this boat is like what's something like 6.35 something something miles an hour because it's a displacement hull. There's essentially two kinds of hulls in boats. You have displacement hulls like canoes, kayaks, sailboats, rowboats. And then you have planing hulls like bass boats, speed boats, racing boats, things like that, or even a John boat. A planing hull is designed to literally get up over the bow wave and literally fly on top of the water. That's literally what it's doing. That's why these bass boats have 200, mile, 200 uh, horsepower nowadays, right? And that's why my canoe only needs maximum five horsepower to get through the water. Displacement hulls are designed to slip through the water like a whale or a dolphin or something like that. They're, they're just designed to slip through the water. So why would I want to go that slow? Well, I want to save gas. I don't want to burn as much fuel as I've burnt with the, with the John boat, okay? You see the round hull, the round bottom of the canoe? You see that? That canoe doesn't have enough planing surface. In other words, the wings aren't big enough for it to fly. This thing has the wings of a penguin, not of an eagle. Okay, if you think, right? The hull is designed to just slip through, you know, it's designed to slip through the water with very little resistance and very little drag. And so you can go very, I can run a whole day on like half a gallon of gasoline and that's being wasteful. What happens if you try to make it go faster? It won't, it'll just plow down in the water and it'll just be riding tail up like that, which makes it easy to swamp the boat. Think about every, the Navy, big Navy ships and the destroyers and stuff. Long haul with a lot of power, you can go get a lot of speed, displacement speed. You calculate displacement speed by the whole line length of the boat times, I think it's 1.1508. And that'll give you your hull speed in miles per hour. You can, and you can convert that to knots and kilometers or however you want after that. But uh, So it's not designed for speed in terms of planing, but it is fast in terms of getting through the water because Idling with this motor is way faster than paddling, right? So I can really just run at that six miles an hour all the time and burn very, very little fuel getting up and down the river. And while I'm on the river, I can use the paddle to maneuver and stuff while I'm drifting and trolling.